people here really seem to like an existence proof that I gave that was non-constructive. So let me give you another example of a proof that is non-constructive. And in this case, what we're going to prove is that a 2 to the n by 2 to the n chessboard with one corner removed can be tiled with pieces of the form, these sort of L pieces with three squares. Um, so let me give you one example. This is one chessboard that is four by four, one corner removed. Stop the video here and try to file a tiling using those pieces, and then I will give the solution. So here is one solution where I've tiled this four by four chessboard with those uh, pieces of that shape. So now the question is, so draw one that is eight by eight or 16 by 16, can it be tiled in this way? And what we're going to do is prove this theorem using induction. It's going to be a non-constructive proof, but it's going to show the existence of such a tiling. We're going to prove it using induction on n. So the base case is going to be n zero equals one. So here's a two by two chessboard, one corner removed, and it's tiled with a piece of that shape. So the base case holds. Now to prove the induction step, we're going to prove that the kth case implies the k plus oneth case. And for that, we're going to assume what we call the induction hypothesis. So that a two to the k by two to the k chessboard with one corner removed can be tiled with pieces of that sort. And now consider a chessboard that is two to the k plus one by two to the k plus one with one corner removed, and let's tile that one. So suppose we have a chessboard that is uh, the side length is two to the k plus one, and one corner is removed. Then if we divide it in four pieces, each one has length half of that, which is two to the k. So this square is two to the k by two to the k. This one is two to the k by two to the k, and one corner is removed. So the induction hypothesis tells me how to tile that one. And now what I'm going to do is put one of the tiles right in the middle in this position so that I'm removing one square from that, one square from this one, and one square from that one. So now each one of the squares here are two to the K by two to the K, and they are missing one tile, one square, so I can tile them all by the induction hypothesis. And since I can tile that one, that one, that one, and that one using pieces of this shape, I can tile the entire thing using pieces of that shape. Therefore, I've been able to tile the two to the K plus one by two to the K plus one uh, chessboard, and that concludes the proof of the induction step. And therefore, the principle of mathematical induction implies that the statement holds for all n. Any chessboard that is 2 to the n by 2 to the n with one corner removed can be tiled with pieces of that sort. But the interesting part is that the proof doesn't really tell me how to find such tilings. It just says that the tiling exists. What the proof does tell me, though, is that I can find those tilings recursively. So the trick is to do this recursively uh, and use the previous case to come up with the next tiling. So if I have an eight by eight uh, chessboard with one corner removed, now I can use the picture that I did at the beginning of the video for a four by four to tile this whole one. You first put that one tile in the middle and now we're going to tile this four by four and that one and that one and that one using the pattern we found for the four by four like so, and now I have a tiling for the eight by eight chessboard. 